Hello, friends. Welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and um, I got something in my, in my mouth here. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I've been uh, experimenting with this new time uh, and uh, day, so we did a stream yesterday at 2 p.m. Pacific, and we're back here at the same time, same channel, so I appreciate y'all. I'm so fired up about this one. We've got Age of Comics, the golden years, here in the house, in the Airbnb house, and um, if you're new to the channel, welcome and i really appreciate you hanging out with us um what i do is play board games all the time here on twitch but lately had some problems with uh the homestead had some plumbing issues and whatnot so we are in an airbnb for the time being so this is a temporary setup i usually have my board games behind me right now i just have like a handful of games but that's okay because the important thing is age of comics this is now on kickstarter and if you'd like to check out more info thanks to our sponsor Larius games you can go to the link i just dropped right there it's already fully funded on kickstarter they launched it this morning within a couple hours They've already doubled their funding goal. So congrats to uh, uh, Sonia and the entire team over there at Lyrius Games. We appreciate them. Uh, appreciate them sponsoring today's uh, stream. And it's it's a fun game, folks. I, If you notice, I've got my... I have a certain uh, a shirt that I haven't worn in a while, but I had to wear it today because it's a totally appropriate shirt. Uh, this game is set in the golden age of comics. Um, and what it is is... You run a company, a pub comic book publishing company, and you're trying to publish the best books, get the most fans, and then eventually earn the most money. It's a worker placement game. We're getting, gonna get to it in just a second. I want to say hi to everyone in chat. Thank y'all. I've got a, I've got a dry mouth uh, today. Okay, hopefully that's better. Um, I want to say hello to everyone. James is here. Uh, Legends is here. Thank you so much for hanging out as always. Um, Slivers is in here as well. Um, and, uh, hello, Lyrius Games as well. Uh, Electric, uh, Eclectic Camel is here. Uh, this game sounds rad and I don't need a Kickstarter back R. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, the theme when Lyrius Games reached out to me a while ago, it's probably, probably at the end of last year, I think. Um, I saw the theme and I was looking at it, I was like, I am, I need to, I, I would love to, um, partner and get this played because... I love the theme. It's just so super thematic. And what you'll see as we play through it, folks, it's very, uh, it's really well done tying in the theme to the mechanism and stuff. So again, I, I'm so excited to uh, share this with y'all. Board to Play is here. Uh, hello. And Joe is here. Hi, Joe. Joe said, I used to wear a shirt like that at work a lot. It was my brand. Nice. Joe, you are a, a super person. That's that's for sure. Uh, thank you, Time Roller. Good to see you. Slivers, hello. Uh, Board Gaming Crew is in the house. Hello, Board Gaming Crew. Good to see y'all as well. Vault Hunter Argus. Zeta Rec is here. Hello, Zeta Rec. I appreciate that. Uh, good to see everyone. Vault Hunter Argus, we said, to live in nice and early, the work lurk struggle is real. Yes, folks, if you're working, go ahead and lurk. I appreciate you hanging out. Um, you know, we'll we'll do our best to uh, keep you out of trouble. I mean, just get your work done. But we are going to be playing the game uh, as as you um, hang out and do your do your thing, whether whether it's working, schooling, or just hanging out. That's great. Um, Legends is my girlfriend got me that shirt. Yeah, you know, um, I think Michelle probably gave me this shirt uh, years ago, and um, it's just one of those things. I I actually had it for a, a Halloween costume one year. It was really fun. I actually shaved the beard off. Put on a hat, had my glasses, of course, and then I did the whole. Had this shirt underneath a suit, uh, so then like I, I was like opening my my uh, you know button down shirt like this, had the suit on with a hat. So the whole Clark Kent, the the whole Filipino Clark Kent turned into um, <laughs> in the Superman bit. I, it, it's I did that for a couple of years. I haven't done it lately. I mean, maybe I should this year. I mean, I have to shave off the beard, right? I mean, Superman doesn't have a beard, does he? I don't Ruel can yet, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so nice to see everyone here, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Razor's in the house too, thank you, Razor. I'm gonna get into it because we got a little ways to go here. This is um, not a lighter game. This is definitely the medium uh, weight game and there's a lot going on. I'm gonna explain it the best I can, but you know, we're gonna. The, I think the best way to explain it is just to jump right in and play it. So thank you folks for hanging out with me. Uh, Sovereign Razor says, well, you got to redo the costume, but with the black curl. Oh, yeah. You know what I should do? Just put one little black curl and not even have, like, hair. Just that black curl. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Uh, thank you all. Again, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, let's go over here to the game. Voila. So, this is a big game. I have a very tiny table here in my Airbnb. This is small, so it does not fit everything. This is the main board here. 
we're gonna have uh, three rows of cards here these are the player boards and i'm playing a two-player game today uh, i'll be yellow and michelle will be teal uh, michelle's not here of course but um i'll be playing for both of us and what this uh, you, you'll see i'm gonna pull one of these tracks here this is how big the player board is so it's going to be a little off camera, but I will be explaining stuff as we go. I've already done the initial setup. Um, and what it is, is here's the city of Manhattan, folks. There's all kinds of people that want to buy comic books. These are the comic books themselves. These little, oh my gosh, I love these. Each one is unique. Okay. Uh, there are a bunch of unique ones here. They're also ripoffs because, you know, not everyone can be original. They got to steal other people's ideas, unfortunately. So um, these are the originals, these are the ripoffs. You're going to have writers, artists, and creating the comic book. So your creative team. And you're going to have your editors. These are the, oops, they're not on screen. Here they are. Uh, your editors are right here. And you're going to send them out to the different spots on the board to take actions. And I'll, I'll explain as we go on. Um, you're going to play five rounds, five calendar uh, months or so. And then the first, the person with the most money or the most victory points will win the game. Okay. So this is the yellow. This is the blue. We've got our starting stuff. Um, you know, we basically have a stable of, uh, an artist and a writer, and then we have a comic book in development. Okay. And then we have ideas and then we also have money. Um, I'm going to start with the yellow player. They've been randomly chosen first. That's me. Uh, Michelle got a, one extra idea to be the second player. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you what I have. I have uh, this artist, Jane Goodall. This artist, Andrew Scarce. And we have in development the Star Spangled Duo. There are six different genres of comic books, folks. There's um, uh, westerns, there are uh, sci-fi, there are superheroes, and so forth. So in this case, we have the little uh, action uh, hero here. This is a superhero book. So I am... What you can do, you're going to send your editors to do various tasks. You can hire new talent. You can develop comic books. You can uh, generate ideas. You can print comic books. That's very important. That's that's the whole crux of the game is printing those comic books. Uh, you can collect royalties. And then, again, to tie it into the print, you can sell comic books. You can go to Manhattan, find out who's um, what comics are hot out there, what are people buying, what are, where are all the fans. Um, I'll talk about these extra actions as we go along, but... I'm going to jump right into it. The first um, round is the sci-fi genre. So we have uh, uh, we have flipped over the sci-fi in Manhattan here. Um, Michelle and I both start here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on the board. Uh, this is uh, Manhattan. We both start in the center, and then we're going to be moving um, to these dots here throughout the city. And then as we do, when we take this action, we're going to un uh, reveal some of them. Uh, so... We've already revealed the sci-fi because that's the that was what the round marker said to reveal sci-fi. Um, in development right now, um, Michelle's got a western. I've got a uh, superhero uh, book. So what I can do, um, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to hire some new um, talent, okay? Because now you can have any artist and writer, uh, you know, create your book. But if you have them specialized, so this one... Uh, Jane, she speciali specializes in superhero books. If you can get them both super um, uh, specialized in that genre, you'll get more victory points at the end of the game, right? Because, you know, you want specialists on your team, folks. You want them to do the work that they really enjoy doing. And there's a way to um, help them um, uh, learn and train. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. So what I'm going to do, let's see. I can go here. Um... So here's the row of writers, artists, and then comic books. So this is for develop. These two rows go hand in hand with the hire action. You will always hire a pair of uh, one writer and one artist, and you can draw off the top of the deck. It's a little off screen right now. But um, let's see. I've got, there's a sci-fi there. There's, ooh, could I go sci-fi? I am going to do that. So I am going to hire, send my little editor to the hire section. I'm going to hire Nestor Mangoons and Simon Prex. They are both writers and art, a uh, writer and artist in the sci-fi um, genre. That's their specialty. That's their jam. And then because they're inexperienced, the one equals is the value. You'll we randomly started with two level two writers and artists, but I've hired a level ones. Those are entry level artists or creatives. And because they're uh, new, they're, they're you know still getting their legs in room in the industry, 
you're going to get a bonus. They're full of ideas, so they're going to uh, give you a, each an idea token. So in this case, uh, Simon and Nestor gave us um, a sci-fi idea. So, of course, that makes sense, right? They're sci-fi uh, specialists, so they've got ideas. And what the idea tokens are, I'm going to pull... Idea tokens are off the screen right now. I'll draw a couple of them. These are the... Um, sci-fi uh, ideas you're going to put those in your supply which i'll do right there so i just have them on the player board right now now of course because it's a small setup normally you know you'd have a lot more space but i'm throwing stuff on the boards right now the boards are basically used to place your comic books that are published um but for you know because we have we're a little cramped today folks i will be using that as my storage space as well so i've got ideas those ideas are important because when you publish, uh, when you print, you take the print action, you're going to have to print the comics and you need the idea tokens to do that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. That's the end of my turn. That's it. It's a worker placement game. Uh, next up is Michelle. Um, and this does not refill until the end of the round. So Michelle's taking a look here. She has um, a an artist. Oh, okay. So she's got her comic book, a Western. She's got an artist that specializes in Western, but a writer that specializes in superheroes. But she looks at the pool over here. There's a writer that specializes in um, in Westerns, and they're pretty experienced. So that's uh, three value. So and then if you when you um, complete them, you're going to get fans, and we'll talk about that as we print conflicts. So there's Michelle's writer. Now she has an artist. She has two artists to choose from here. Uh, they are uh, specialized in horror. But you know what? She sees over here on the, the deck, she's going to uh, take a chance. Uh, she's going to draw one off the top of the deck, see what um, it is. And it is, hey, it's um, a crime artist. Okay, so there's that. Now, you do have a uh, hand limit of six. We each have five cards right now. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to, oops, let me take Michelle, went to the higher. Now, back to me, I am going to go to the develop action. So I'm going to go here and develop, which means I'm going to go over here and look at the comic books that I can develop. I could draw off the top of the deck, but I see Alien Worlds. This one here is, I, I just hired those specialists in sci-fi, so I want that. So that's going to go to my um, player board here. That's the end of my turn. Michelle would also like to develop. Um, well, she's got... Huh... Yeah, because she has the artist that um, specializes in crime, she does see that there is a crime um, a comic book theme out there called Gang War. So she's going to go to the, uh, where is it, develop um, section. And uh, as a, in a two-player game, folks, this plays up to four players. Uh, two-player game, you'll notice these spaces here. There's actually three spaces available, so uh, one player can take the action twice if they would like. Okay. So she's developed, she's gotten Gang Wars. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Two more actions this round. Um, I am going to go and print, okay? I want to print some comic books because I want, and that's the whole object of the game, print the comic books and, you know, earn, uh, gain fans and earn money. So what I'm going to do, I went to the print comic book for a uh, spot first. So that means I get to go, oh, wait a second. I need to be careful here. I cannot do this because remember, I have to pay uh, in order to print comic books. Uh, I'm gonna pay the value. So I don't want to do that just yet. So what I'm gonna do, I need to get some money, honey. So I gotta go here royalties. I need to pick up some money first. So I'm gonna go here, get some royalties. Uh, I got four bucks, okay? So I got a five, I'm gonna make some change, put one back in the bank. Now, Michelle, She's looking at what I'm doing and she decides, you know what, Ruel, you're gonna be you're gonna beat me to that print. And she could print these. Let me see. No, she can't. She needs money too. But what she's gonna do, she's gonna go to the city. She's gonna uh get on the, the sales wagon early and try to make some sales. So what she's gonna do, she's looking at the map, and up here it'll say you can move one space for free, or you can take a taxi for two bucks, that'll give you an additional space. Or you can go, um, you can take, use one of these, um, the, the rapid transit system, basically. If you have one of these, you'll gain these uh, here. You will get, um, uh, you can go anywhere on the map. And speaking of, you know, I totally forgot. When I, oh no, no, okay. 
I take that back. I'm good to go. So Michelle is going to go here. She's the teal color. She wants to go, let me see, where is, she can go here, she can go here, or she can go here. Now she has um, a, a cowboy or a western and she has a, um, a crime. So she's going to move one spot here. Now she's gone, okay, so this is here, going to sales. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit on that. So she's on the sales spot. This means she can flip uh, uh, flip over and take up to three. So the this one's already flipped over because the calendar said we should. Now she's gonna flip over this cowboy. One, two, and then the superhero, three. So in this part of Manhattan, they're all goo goo over Westerns and she sees that she's like, you know what? I wanna sell them my Western comic book. She's gonna take these two. And you know, she also has a crime, but she has that sci-fi. Um, she does have one uh, superhero uh, artist or writer. So maybe in the future she'll get a, um, a superhero. So she's going to gamble a little bit. She's going to take that. Now here's the thing. As you collect these tokens, you got to be careful because if you do not produce comics in these genres at the end of the game, it's minus points. So, you know, can't let the fans down, folks. So uh, that's her uh, move. Now it's back to me. I will go print now because I have some extra money. And because I can, I'm the first one here, I can print two comic books instead of one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print uh, this. Uh, I got a writer and artist for Alien Worlds. So the value is two because I have a one and a one. So I need to pay two bucks. You know, gotta keep your, you got to pay your talent, folks. So two bucks to the bank. And then I get this bonus here, which is four bucks. So I get four bucks back. Okay. Two, three, four. That goes there. Uh, you can't see it. I, I just placed on the uh, like on one of these. And then what I do is I look at that. I get three fans. So first I have to find the comic book. So it's Alien Worlds. It's uh, the sci-fi here. Alien Worlds. Future Wonder. Uh, Alien Worlds. There it is. And that's going to go on. Uh, I'm the yellow player. So I have gained three fans. So three fans, Alien Worlds. At the end of the round, I'm going to get two bucks. And as you gain more fans, it's going to go up or you're going to lose fans as well to go down. Okay, so that's my first comic book. My second one, I am going to do uh, this here. I'm going to do the Star Spangled Duo. Okay, and um, this has cost me two, four. It's going to cost me four bucks because um, these are a little more seasoned um, creatives. So four bucks in the bank. And my bonus is plus one fan. So instead of three, I got four fans. And let us get the Star Spangled Duo. Okay. So instead of three fans, I got four fans. And that's going to go here. Four. Yep. All right. So I have two comic books, folks. They are in uh, in the wild. And now, because I've gotten to the, the second space. So you, uh, can you see it? No. So this, you'll notice we have some cubes on top here. This basically, when you uh, print your second comic book and above, you get a bonus action. So I'm gonna take my cube and I can place it on anywhere up here. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I can place it on anything that uh, has two comic books. So I can do this, this, or this. I can get higher develop or ideas. So the special actions, that's what they're called. Um, in a higher, if I place it here, when I do the higher action, I can reassign um, writers and artists so I can basically move them around. If I do the develop, I can do something called a hype token and basically you're building up hype for unprinted books you're generating you know publicity for your upcoming books and that'll get you more fans or i can go here again this is for two uh the special action during ideas is i can convert any three ideas into fans so basically if i have a bunch of ideas i can turn those into fans so what i'm going to do instead i really like the idea of hyping up a book so i'm going to go here so i anytime i take develop action from now on i will be able to do the hype uh, special action, which is basically a start of the round type thing. Okay, so let's uh, continue here. That's my final turn of the round. Got a couple of books up. Now let's go to Michelle. Uh, she had she generated uh, some stuff here. And what I'm going to do for Michelle, she's going to print her first comic book. She wants to print that Outlaws book. So she's going to take her editor, go here. She's going to print. Uh, she's got and she's got specialized um, writers and artists. So she has the writer Robert Gint and the artist DJ Leonard. 
they're gonna print outlaw so the value is five so she pays Ooh, she just had enough three four five okay oh you know what i forgot to pay the ideas on my turn so i printed a superhero so two ideas and a sci-fi two ideas that goes there and like that likewise michelle needs to pay two western ideas okay so that goes there and then she looks here to find the comic book outlaws um there it is and that's going to go on her teal space she's gained one two three fans so right there uh, of course, these are for sec uh, second, or, uh, third, and fourth players. We're not using those tracks; just these two. Okay, and then her bonus, uh, because she printed this, she gets these the super ticket here. This is the transport. She can use that any time to go anywhere on the map. Normally, you're limited by one free space, or you can pay money for extra spaces. But she'll take that. Okay, now, if you'll notice here, this she had the three and the four uh, from the sale uh, here. And this means this value here corresponds to what your value your comic is. That means if it's equal to or greater than, you get to you get those fans. You have, you're out on the streets selling your books, folks. So Michelle gets plus two, plus one. She gets plus three fans. Oh my goodness, this is all the way up to six. So she's got a lot of money there. Uh, and then you just turn these over and place them on your book. You have sold those. Now don't forget, she does have this one here, this uh, superhero book that will turn in negative points unless she. Um, prince of superhero book so she needs to take care of that okay so that's the end of the round let's do some cleanup now um this is uh here the round structure uh so we've done that now we established rank and award vps so uh we're looking at the highest rated comic book that is michelle's outlaws that's all the rage right now so she gets um three points so michelle gets three victory points that'll go in her stack i'm second i get two and you play uh, you pay three places in the uh four player game uh and okay where is that and i should mention uh folks the kickstarter uh there is uh, they mentioned a they say that there is a solo game in development which has me excited uh there were some beta rules i decided just to do the two player run through uh for this but there is a solo mode so something to keep in mind if you're going to check out that kickstarter okay so now we're going to earn money so michelle gets three bucks two three i have two books so i have three bucks and two bucks for five bucks okay and uh next up is established turn order basically whoever is last goes first so this is the turn order here michelle will go oh no no i go first because i have, am, am in last okay um and then remove one fan from each comic book on the chart so they go down they're gonna downgrade you gotta stay with the hottest folks The you know things cool off and fans get disinterested so it's up to you to keep printing out those new hot new books okay remove editors from the board so these will return to each player one two three four i am going to hydrate okay and then uh discard the cards and refill the table okay so these get discarded And let's take a look at what comes out here. We've got new new riders. We've got Rachel, we've got Daniel, and we got Stella. Okay, so a couple of horror specialists and also a sci-fi specialist. And then the artists we have Jane Asuten, Bixby, and Barb. Okay, so a lot of horror stuff coming out, plus a romance as well. And let's see what comic books are going to be developing. We got a crime. It's a felony. We've got a cowboy. King of the Plains, and we have a romance love letter. Hey, love letter, the uh, comic book, cool. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, beginning. Uh, that's the end of round one. We're gonna go to the beginning of round two. We flip over the calendar. Um, it says all action hero, superhero books. We flipped over on the map. So superheroes are the hottest things. We just go to the map, flip over all the little superhero tokens. All the fans are clamoring for those action heroes, superheroes. Okay, so there it is. So you notice, uh, oops, I forgot to zoom back out. Uh, I have flipped over all these in Manhattan. We got um, uh, superhero fans all over the city. Okay, 
Uh, now let us refill the idea token. No one took the idea token, so those uh, that's going to stay there. But I have a feeling this next round we're going to have we're going to need some ideas, so we're definitely going there. Um, and then add hype to any comic books. So I have the hype. I didn't do. I I developed. Uh, I developed before I had the hype, so I'm not going to do that just yet. And then we can pay to increase creatives' value. So what does that mean? Glad you asked, Ruel. Uh, basically, what that means is. You know, you're you're working with your writers and artists, and they're going to get better as they work longer together. So in this case, I can uh, train, um, and I can specialize uh, these um, uh, or learn. Or is it train or learn? Uh, you're going to basically pay money uh, for them to level up. So what I'm going to do, I'll show it um, on Michelle's first. So she has a two and a three. Okay. So she can pay to go to the next level um, from two to three. Let me get the little tokens here. So uh, she wants to level up her, um, because you know, if it's worth more, you're gonna you know, get more VPs. Um, she is going to train, let's see, if both specialized have the same value. Nope. One creative specialized, four specialized. Okay, so she can pay $1 to increase uh, this two to a three. So that's what she's gonna do there. And she pays $1. Cool. So now her value is six. And then we are going to go to, so that allows her to go after their, the um, uh, values on the the Westerns. When they get to level six, because she has level six, she'll be able to go after those as well. Okay, so now I feel like I should probably do that as well. Um, train, um, I can pay to go next level. So I've got a level one, two, uh, yeah. So I've got, I'm going to pay, and let me just bring this over here in this camera shot. So both my entry level writers and artists are level one. So their value together is two. I can pay to train those both um, to bring them up a level of zero. Um, both, so I'm gonna pay $2 to move this one to two, and then another $2 to move this one to. So $4 to get them both to um, level two. So I'm paying that out of the bank. I get, I pay a five, get one back and change. And then I get the little development tokens. So one for the artist and one for the writer. Cool. Okay. So those are now twos. Okay. So now I have a uh, level value four uh, for my uh, sci-fi. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going first this round. Thank you again for hanging out with me, folks. This is Age of Comics, The Golden Years, now on Kickstarter. Um, you know what? I see Michelle. She's she's looking for, to get more superhero books. I need to jump in on this. So I'm going to go, let me see, this one, level five. I cannot get this. So my value of my book right now is four because my artist and writer are level four. So I need to get over here somehow or here hmm but i can go here for level three i do have a oh i do have that um sci-fi oh this is interesting do i go down here i can get the sci-fi for four yeah but see i have to pay extra to go so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna pay a dollar to take the cab so i get one movement for free so that's one there let me zoom in a little bit so I started, uh, we all started in the middle, then I move one here for free. I'm going to pay an additional two bucks to take another space. Uh, ooh, what do I, what do I want to do? Hold on a second. I'm, I just paid two bucks, so I got two movement to go. Hmm. Interesting choice. Uh, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll stick to that. Um. This is plus three. Okay, I'm gonna go one, and I paid my extra two dollars. Uh, two. Um, oh, so I, I should go over here and duh. So that's the sales action. So this has already been revealed uh, in round one. I can reveal these other ones, so because I can reveal up to three, and I can take up to three. There's that and that. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take the one because I don't. Oh man, do I want to do this? Do I want to, let me see. So I, I can take a look at the board here. I see there's a bunch of horror and a Western and a crime um, comic book being developed. Uh, maybe I want the, so I would definitely want the sci-fi. Definitely taking that because that'll get me instant fans. Um, 
this is horror yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take a horror okay so i've got those two now i already have a sci-fi that um uh that will take this uh, that meets the requirement of four so i get plus two fans on my uh sci-fi so this one one two alien worlds is back in the, uh they had they had a really good uh month i guess some really cool plot and boom got four fans or up to four fans now okay that's my action and now it is michelle's turn michelle has this writer this artist and she does she have okay she wants a writer that specializes okay there's no writer that specializes in this yet but that's okay she is going to go with hmm there's a superhero okay you know what? she's gonna print this she's going to print this she wants to get up on the board here and she wants to get her second one so she can get uh, the bonus so what she's gonna do is print taking her artist going here she could print two but she only has one you know maybe she should wait because i don't have it she looks at my board she she knows i don't have any cards available so she's gonna go try to develop some stuff so she or hire some new guns so she's gonna go here to hire um she's gonna hire this writer and this artist um they both specialize in horror and as you can see there's horror books gonna be printed soon uh so that's her turn back to me hmm you know, I've got the I've got to remember about the fans. They're they're clamoring for those horror books, folks. So I will also hire from the horror genre. One, two. Okay. And then Michelle looks and says, you know what? She wants to print this gang war book, but the only idea she has is a superhero. So she's gonna go to get some ideas. Now you go up here, uh zoom in again. Uh you get two. Uh, uh, each space gives you different um, amounts. So first you get two of your choice from the board. So she wants this um, crime one, and she'll take the superhero one. And it says plus two, you get two more from the supply. So she's gonna grab, um, so she needs one more crime. So you got the crime, and then she wants a, a horror. You know, the, the, the zombie. She's gonna come up with a zombie book because she has these um, writers and artists. Okay. Cool. So my turn, I probably want to do that as well because I have no ideas. <laughs> the idea the uh, has run dry, the idea um, well. So I'm going to go here. I do have a horror that I want to do. So I'm going to take one here. And then this says I can take one uh, plus two of my choice. So let's see. There's one. Um, <clears throat> I need another horror. That's two. Then, <coughs> excuse me get a third one you know let's take a romance i think i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna diversify i'm, I'm gonna get a rom romantic book out there okay so that's the end of that now it's back to michelle uh she is going to hmm. Ooh, you know what she can do folks ooh, ooh, ooh. okay michelle is going to do some sales she's gonna go here to the sales action She's gonna move one for free, and then she can um, flip over and collect two. She's gonna flip over, or she's gonna collect the, flip over the crime and the horror, and she's gonna collect both of those, because those are the books she's working on. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, back to me for my final turn of the round. Uh, I am going to go, hmm, let's see, is there anything I can sell? Ooh, I can sell that. Do I get back into sales or, oh, I want to try to develop, or try to, oh, you know, I've got, how much, I got six bucks left. Um, so I'm going to take this and you know what? I, I should probably show y'all how to do this. This would be fun. No, you know, I'll say that for the next turn. Um, oh, and I want to say hello to our friends, Alusa Palooza. Thank you, David Ilka for the raid folks. We have analog alerts here on the channel. This is the raid helmet. Thank you so much, Luza Palooza, for the raid. Let me know what you're playing. We are playing Age of Comics and Golden Years. This is now on Kickstarter. You can check it out right here. I'm going to drop the link. Um, it is fully funded, and I love, love, love the theme. You are a comic book publisher during the Golden Years, and you're publishing comic books. It's a worker placement game. I love worker placement games. 
Thank you for the raid. There's the raid helmet. Friends, welcome. I'm going to uh, get back to the game. I want to say hello to all of you. Thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Ruel. This is Tabletop Tonight. Let's get back to the game. Um, I'm finishing up my turn here. And, hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I want to either go here to get some sales. Or no, wait. Uh, this, this one here, four. Yeah, I should probably go up there for free so I can get two more fans for my um, comic book. Again, fans get you money, folks, and that'll help me uh, develop things as well. Oh, and speaking of develop, no, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna start the hype. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go develop. So, develop, um, I'm going to take this romance one, love letter, the comic book. I'm gonna be developing this one. So, this one here, uh, the special action means at one time per round, I'm going to put the hype tokens on there. And I'll show you what the hype token is. Basically, you're hyping up your book. You can get a hype token on this uh, development. And then when you actually print it, when you get the writer and artist to print it, you're going to get additional fans. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave that there. So that's the end of my round. Now it's back to Michelle. Uh, she wants to print a book. So she sends her editor to the print section. Now, she could have printed two, but you know what? She's She's okay with just printing one this time. She has this writer and artist. Uh, she's going to gain three fans. Uh, three fans. Oh, wait. No, she can't. Oh, no. She doesn't have enough money. She only had two bucks. Oh, Michelle. Oh, bummer. So instead, she has to go. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh, Michelle. So she's bummed. She goes here instead to get four dollars. Okay. So one, two, three, four. There's that. Okay, so now four bucks. And she will have to print the next turn, folks. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, uh, let us go back over here. Let's rank. Um, this is the end of the round, round two. Uh, as you can see, it's a really smooth flowing game, and I love how all the mechanisms uh, flow you know, well, uh, just flow so smoothly with the, um, everything. Um, what I'm gonna do now is establish ranking. So Michelle still has the top um, comic book in the land. So she gets three victory points, and I get two because I'm second. So Michelle gets three, I get two. Uh, earn money. I've got two books, so that's five bucks, three, three and two. She has one book for three. One, two, three. Whoops. And then we establish turn order. So I am in last place. Let me, you know, let me make sure I'm doing the turn order right. I do have, uh, folks, you got to check out this rule book. I love how... It's even got like the little speech bubbles and stuff. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, turn order. Um, um, reverse of the ranking order on the chart. Okay, so it's the reverse. So because I'm uh, I'm not higher than her on here, that I will remain the first player. Uh, so now remove one fan from each book. So again, there. Are, Dwindling popularity, folks. Uh, remove editors from the board. Let's go back to Michelle. And yeah, these go back to me. Uh, where's my third? There, there it is. Okay. And then now, uh, discard these and rebuild. Let's see what we have coming up here. We have a writer, Peter Parking. <laughs> A Western writer, we got a superhero writer, and we have a crime writer. Now for the artists, we have a sci-fi artist, a sci-fi artist, and a crime artist. And then the books in development are a romance, heartbreakers, feeling, and stores, stories of tomorrow, sci-fi. Um, okay. So that's the end of the round. Now we flip the calendar over here. Okay, all those horror books are gonna be in demand so we go over here and flip over the horror now again some of them were flipped over during the actions we took and uh now we um refill the idea tokens so uh, superhero and a crime and a horror okay uh, add hype to comics in development. Because I have hype, I am developing Love Letter, so I get to hype it up. Two fans, when I print it, will get 
additional two fans. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, now we can pay to increase the creative value. So again, you're gonna pay to increase your creatives uh, in order to get those higher numbers, right? So I'm gonna do that on my end. Um, I've got um, these superheroes here um, that uh, the team is worth four. I'm gonna bump them up to three each. So that's gonna cost me six bucks, right? Uh, Laura specialize. Uh, trained uh, one crew uh, both specialized crews have same value Okay, so six bucks and I get the development tokens. So they're gonna go up to three So three for the writer and three for the artist and I know this is off screen, but um, y'all Y'all saw what I did earlier. I just had this here. Okay now i am going to start the round i go first oops i put the wrong tokens these are <laughs> michelle Steele. i'm yellow oh boy what can i do i want to uh, i'm i'm hyped about i'm hyping up this uh, love uh the love letter comic book can i get two of them going hmm I do have a writer or artist who specialize in horror books, but there are no horror books uh, being developed at this point. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to go get some ideas. We need some fresh ideas, folks. So we're going to go here. I get two plus two. I got a love token, a romance genre, another genre for romance. Oh, actually, no, I don't need that one. I need... Let me see. I've got horror. I've got romance. So I get three more. Uh, let's try to get, you know, we'll, get, we'll, we'll go all in on romance. We're going to get two more romance. Oops, tokens. Another romance. That's one, two, three. And then for the fourth, um, let me see. One, two, three, four. Just in case, uh, let's get a crime. Yeah, we'll get a crime. Okay, that's my turn. Now Michelle's going to go. Uh, she's looking to get in the printing business she needs to print a book real quick but what she's gonna do uh, she sees some writers there an artist um, she she's gonna go develop and let's see she no she can print this one um, you know what no she Michelle is going to go to should do the ideas no Oh, she can hire. Oh, no, that artist. Oh, yeah, you know what she's going to hire? Because Michelle has this gang wars in development. Remember, she had the superhero writer. She's going to be able to get a specialized crime writer. And then along with that, uh, she's also going to get... Hmm, maybe she'll get into the sci-fi game. Here's a sci-fi artist. Okay. So, wait a second. No, she can't do this. Ah. Sheree has uh, five cards. Oh, no, she can't. She just has to discard down. Okay. So she has to discard down to six. I think that's at the end of the round as well. Uh, hand limit is six, yes. So at the end of the round, she's going to have to go down. Um, so let's see. Let's go back. Okay, so Michelle did that. She hired. Do I want to develop? I want to develop more because then I can hype up uh, another book. Right? Yeah, let's get on that hype train, folks. Hype train, we're gonna develop. So I'm gonna grab, let's, let's go with Heartbreakers. So we're gonna develop that one there. Okay, and then that'll allow me to hype that one, get even more fans. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Michelle is going to develop as well. Okay. Um, she's gonna develop. Uh, so she knows here, you'll notice on the backs of uh, the, the deck here for the comic books, you'll know what genre is coming up so you can sort of plan. So she has, right now she has a sci-fi that's available here. And then she also has a romance. And then on the top of the deck, she knows that there is a, a Western. So let's see what she's gonna print up here. She's gonna try to print up, you know what? She'll just, uh, she'll, all, she'll do a sci-fi. Oh, actually, she has this one. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, my go, I am going to... I've got to hire some artists, folks, and writers. I need to get creative. Okay. Or what I can do. No, this is what I want to do. I'm going to move. I'm going to go do the movement here because I can go up here and I get, I can take this one because I can, I can gain fans immediately because I already have a comic book that's printed in the superhero um, genre. Um, and then I'm also going to, hmm. boy, oh boy. Yeah, I think that's the only one I want to do because I don't want to get stuck. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this one. Wait, wait a second. I was here. I can go. Oh, no. I can, I can go here if I pay extra money. No, you know, I'll just go here. Okay. Boom. Done. And because I already have a superhero, which is off the screen here, I needed to get two fans. So superheroes are back in vogue, friends. And then you flip this over and place it on your comic book. And as back to Michelle, she is going to finally print. She's going to print two comic books because she's the first one there this round. She gets to print two if she can afford it. So she's printing Gang Wars. Uh, she gets three fans for Gang Wars. One, two, three. Where's Gang Wars at? Gang Wars is here. So that's three fans. Okay. And she gets a bonus of four bucks. For five. Make a change. And then she's, for her second book, Michelle is going to print. She's got an artist, writer, artist, writer. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I meant to swap this out. Sorry. So this one, uh, so that way it lines up. They're specialized. Uh, so I owe one more dollar because their value is five. Okay. And then now uh, she's looking, she has this sci-fi book. Uh, she's going to use this writer and this artist here. Uh, she owes a value of three, so she pays three bucks. Okay. Oh, and she got to pay her. Oh, she has to pay her. Um, I'm taking that three bucks back because she has to pay ideas. You have to pay idea tokens. She had the two idea tokens for Gang Wars, but she does not have the the UFO or the sci-fi token. So she cannot print two anyways. Oh, bummer. Michelle's bummed. But she's not that bummed because she has she had done her job earlier by selling. So um, she has a five value. She gets three fans, th plus three fans on Gang Wars. So Gang Wars is super hot all the way up there. Cool. And that flips over. You place it there. So now last actions of the third round. Hmm. So I've got this artist and writer. I can develop. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could pay. Uh, let me consult the rule book again real quick for the develop action. So here's the cool thing. I can pay $4 and just look through the deck for the genre that I want. So I could do that. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll hype up. I'll continue to hype them up by romance. But I really want to get that... Um, the genre of horror out because I have the I have specialized so I'm gonna pay four bucks get one change where's the one change there it is and then I'm gonna look there's the horror right there okay so now I have this in hand true terror okay that's in development um did I go did I take that uh Michelle oh okay so that was developed so again, with a two player game, you have three spots there. Let me zoom in on that. Uh, for two players, you get three slots. Uh, basically number of players plus one is how many workers placement spots there are. Okay, back to Michelle for her final action. Um, I Michelle does want to print this at some point. So what she's going to do is get some ideas. So she's sending her writers out there. Uh, she needs um, sci-fi, that's one. And she needs another sci-fi for two. And the third one, um, she, she, she'll get a, a horror just because she has one already. So you always want pairs of these so you can spend them to print your comic books. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's the end of the round. Cool. 
So now we establish ranking. Michelle is still the top. That Gang Wars is hot, folks. So she gets three victory points. Uh, three victory points. And then I get two victory points. Um, there. Uh, earn money. Michelle's got a book for three and a book for three for six. So she gets six bucks. And then I have a book for three and two. So five bucks for me. Okay. Oops, that goes there. And of course, now times have changed. Things cool off. We lose one fan for each. Okay. Let me clean up this a little bit so I don't get things mixed up here. Victory points. Okay. And money. Okay. Same here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Michelle does have this cube here. So she can start hyping up stuff as well. She, oh, wait. You know what? Um, she can, let me see. The higher, you can reassign stuff. Um, hmm. Or she can get a bunch of ideas and you can straight change that into fans. So she can do that. I don't want to do the same thing. I want to show up as much as possible. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So remove editors from the board. Let's go to Michelle. Let's go to me. Okay. And discard these cards, the writers and artists, and the comic books. And we see what is coming up now. We have a writer. Hey, there's a romance writer. I need that. And then let's see what else is available here. Artists. Okay. And the comic books in development. A Western, a crime, and a sci-fi. Okay. And now it is the beginning of round four. Or actually round three. Sorry. Uh, age three. So uh, there's actually two ages, uh, two rounds at age three. So now we're going to reveal the crime um, comic book fans. Okay. All right. And then we refill the idea tokens. So we need a sci-fi and a romance. Add hype. So we can add the hype. We bought, or Michelle, well, she chose to go here. I get to hype up my comics. So I've got um, one, two, three. Yes. Hype is coming, folks. So again, once I develop or once I print these, I get even more fans. All right. Cool. Uh, now you can pay to increase your value of your creatives. And I'm going to look here. Michelle's here. Um, she's going to have a sci-fi. Uh, and she does have this ticket. She can go anywhere. So maybe she wants to bump up. She wants to go to where, um, where's the Western? Oh, the Western ones aren't revealed yet. But she does have crime. She can get the crime ones out. There's a plus three. Here's a plus four. Plus six. So Michelle is going to spend her specialized here. Uh, she wants to train this. So basically she's, um, wants to get into to the next level. Um wants to join this one so the difference is one dollar so she pays a dollar and this one becomes a three so now her gang wars the specialized artist these they've learned from their writer friend and they're now three okay cool there's michelle spent one uh and then we've had hype now we start the act uh we look here again i am uh last place so i'm gonna go first again this round and let's, con uh, I'm going to take a sip of water, folks. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm so into this, folks. I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not paying attention to the live chat, but I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I'm just so focused on this. I I'm really digging this game. We are going to be doing a giveaway, folks. Stick around. There is a giveaway. Um, I'm going to drop the info here. What's really neat, Lyrious Games is giving away a 16 by 20 color poster of your choice of any of these comics folks it's all i mean amazing right so this is going to be one winner it, it's open to there's the countries uh, available there continental us canada portugal there's a bunch of like you know licensing restrictions and stuff so um if you're one of those countries you're gonna be able to win and it's gonna i'm gonna do that towards the end of the stream uh if you are look watching this on uh youtube unfortunately the contest is over but live in twitch that's the advantage you get to uh try to uh, win yourself of your very own cover of this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so just to show you what's uh, on the back of the comic book tiles, basically they um, you flip them over when you go up the track. 
So if I reach the 10 track and I have to uh, roll it over, I basically go like that. So now it's 10 plus 10 fans plus six bucks. So if I'm down here and I know that I have $11, I mean 11 fans and uh, $7. So that's that's all it is on the back. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go first. And what am I gonna do? I wanna print. Do I have enough to print? That's the thing. I have uh, four or five. I need to get some money. Can I zoom in around here? And go here. Oh, yeah, that'll get me three fans. That's nice. Again, yeah, that'll. Ooh, if I get those three fans, I take the lead here. That might be the way to go. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so. Why don't we do this? Hey! Friends, Master Goblin Games is raiding us. Thank you, Master Goblin Games. There is the Analog Alert. My name is Joel. This is Tabletop Tonight. We do Analog Alerts here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I wasn't sure who was streaming today. Was it Bonds and or Mabel Conrad uh, and friends, uh, maybe? But let us know what you're up to. What I'm up to is playing this brand new game, Age of Comics, uh, the Golden Years. Awesome new game on Kickstarter right now. It's very fully funded from our friends at Lyris Games who sponsored the stream. I will drop the link in chat. Please check it out. It's a wonderful game. I love the theme. You're basically a comic book publisher and um, you're in the golden age of comics. You're trying to sell as many as possible, get as many fans as possible. This is the Rain Helmet. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, we do analog alerts here. Um, thank you for resubbing, folks. Uh, again, I Michelle helped me update the uh, the uh, uh, um, uh, rain helmet for this year. It's been updated a few times, and um, I had the I had a sticky note, but I lost it for a while, so I found it the other day under the desk, and I've got some tape on it now. So, again, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate all the resubs, and I'm gonna get back to the game. Uh, we're about halfway through, and oh man, it's a good one. So stick around. Thank you so much, and let's get back to the game. Um, it is my turn. I'm going to go print some books, I believe. I can print one. That's how much I have I can afford right now. If I, hmm, let me see what else I have in development. I've got, oh, I can do a, oh, I do have the zombie one. Okay. Or the horror. Um, I can hire an artist or writer. Oh, I can hire a writer. That might be good. I'm gonna hire, I'm gonna go um, hire. Okay. So I'm gonna hire this writer here and I need to get an artist as well. I'm gonna get this artist here. Hmm. Yeah, this artist here. And because it's an uh, entry level, I get one boot. Cause that's what they specialize in. And that's my turn. So let me leave that there. Okay. Then back to Michelle. Uh, she wants to finally print. Wait, can she get... She has that artist there. Um, does she have a book? No. Um, she can print the UFO. I mean, sci-fi. There's the Western. Oh, man. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe Michelle wants to do this. Okay, she's going to develop. Oh, you know what? Okay, Michelle's going to do something cool. What's she going to do is, I, I want to show this off to you. Um, Michelle is going to rip me off. <laughs> she's going to print, folks. She's going to print a ripoff of my Star Spangled Duo. So what she does, she's going to go to print. Okay. Just like normal, she's going to um, give up a artisan writer. Okay. But what you do for ripoffs, you go to the ripoff deck and you're going to find these are separated by genre. So I did Star Spangled Duo. She's got the Star Spangled Duds. So this is a ripoff of my comic book. But hey, people like it. Um, the... The disadvantage of doing the ripoffs is you don't get a bonus and you get fewer fans. So she has to pay two, she still has to pay two superheroes and she still has to pay the money for the creatives. I mean, you don't totally rip it off, you know, you're ripping off the idea. Uh, and then she gets three fans and you're going to find, this is the ripoff file, this is the original. So she finds 
the Star Spangled Duds. <laughs> and uh, she gets two fans for that. So, hey, it's a total ripoff, but hey, you know, it's it's going to earn her money. And what it does earn, too, is that second cube, which I have not earned yet. So she gets her second cube, and now she can place it on any of these um, ones with two comic books. Or um, she can place it on one of the three comic books here. So if she does this, ooh, if she gets a special action for this, yeah, she's gonna go here, special action, right there, oh, okay, special action, she go here. So basically, next time Michelle takes a print action, folks, she's gonna be able to add the better colors, and the better colors are here. And that's basically two additional victory points um, at the end of the game, so very cool. Okay, so she has ripped me off, folks. <laughs> Michelle, it's got sp Star Spangled Duds. Um, okay, so now let me make sure I did everything right. Uh, got the mini book, pay the creators. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Back to me. Um, I have... Um, you know what? We're going to print as well. So I'm going to go to the print action. I've got... You know, it's time to let these uh, the hype go. So I've had this Love Letter comic book. It's been hyped for the last couple of rounds. So I'm going to get four additional fans. So I pay four bucks to place it there. Make and change. Oops. And then with these four fans and the one, two, three on the Love Letter, I got seven fans for that, folks. Big moves. So see, that it pays off to develop and hype up your book. So let me see where is... This one is Love Letter, there it is, so seven. And my bonus here is two, oh, two ideas, sweet. So two ideas, um, let's see, you got this, this. Um, we got all kinds of tokens here. We'll grab a couple of superheroes just in case. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, um, you know what I forgot to do? On Michelle's turn, even though she ripped me off, it still counts as um, Star Spangled Duds is still a superhero, and it's three, so I get an additional fan. Fan. Uh, Star Spangled Duds, so they're both three. And you know what? I just realized, friends, I totally forgot about the area, um, the, the, um, God, what was this called? The, not hype. There's a certain word for this. Um, do, 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 do. When I print, I get a matching mastery. I forgot about mastery. So it's basically uh, majorities of sets. So if you're the first one to print in a genre, you're going to get extra points. So I was the first to print. I printed in the sci-fi. So it's going to be two extra points. I'm going to get an extra, uh, extra fan. So the sci-fi, I'm going to give that. I'm going to make it up right now. Okay. I was also the first to print in the superhero. So I'm going to make that up right now. Uh, Michelle was first to print in the Western. I'm going to make that up right now. Uh, she was the first to print in Crime. Make that up right now. And then, let me see. Okay. And then, I was the first right now to print in the Romance. So, Romance goes one more. Uh, no one's printed in Horror yet. And then, this these can switch back and forth. So, she actually tied me. Michelle tied me. For the action uh, superheroes if she gets another one prints another superhero book she will take this mastery token away from me so very important stuff i totally forgot but hey that's the the beauty of live streaming folks all right so another thing i forgot to do i unlocked my second cube um so do i want to do this print one yeah you know what no i want this ideas thing okay so the ideas is when you, um, I explained this earlier, but I'll do it again. When you go take the ideas action, you may convert three ideas into fans, uh, one per comic, um, per one, per one per each comic that you have. So you basically get an extra fan. Okay. Woo. Good, good, good. Now it's Michelle's turn. Uh, she wants to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. Okay, she has Gang Wars. This is six. She can get this six here. We get this five. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think she's gonna, uh, Michelle's gonna do some traveling. So she's gonna go here. Uh, she's gonna do, uh, she has one movement for free, but hey, check this out. She has the special ticket that she earned earlier. She can go anywhere on the map. She's gonna go right here and take the six. Uh, the six, and she immediately, because she already printed Gang Wars, she gets four more fans. All the way to ten. Wow. Nice one, Michelle. Okay. Um, back to me. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I believe it's time to print again. Do I want to print again? No. I need to... What am I doing? I'm getting running low on money. So, let's see. I've got... Let's see where I can go on the map. If I go here, I can unlock... Okay, that does me no good. If I go here... Uh, superhero? Yeah! Alright, cool, cool, cool. Anna, okay, cool. I'm gonna also jump on the... Well, I'm just gonna take a stroll right here. So, one for free. Um, I'm gonna take this one here because I already have um, the original Star Spangled Duo, not that co copycat stuff. Uh, it's a, a value of five. I, I meet that, so I get three extra fans on Star Spangled Duo. And then, so that's one. I can reveal that one. I will also take this because I have that Love Letter comic book. I get an additional fan. Love Letter up to nine. Um, I can take a third one. Um, I'm going to pass on the third one. Because I already have one of these zombie, the horror ones. That I don't want to mess things up right now if I do too many. You know, I didn't. I don't think I paid my love letter uh, hearts to print that. So that's printed. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, back to Michelle. She's got two more actions. Um, let me take a sip of water. Hmm. Does she want to go here? Uh, Michelle is going to develop. Yeah. Develop. She's going to drop the deck. And because she knew that there was a horror there, she drew off the top of the deck. She's got, ooh, Haunting Tales. So she'll be, hopefully she'll be able to print that this round. Okay, back to me. I'm really running low on money. I need some more money, folks. Um, I am here. If I go here, that's a heart. If I go here, I don't have any of those. If I go here, I can get another heart. I can reveal a couple. Where's the superheroes at? Superheroes down here. So if I go down, that's one, two, three. I'll need three movement. Eventually get there. Where are the more of the hearts? So I'm going to go down here. So one. Oops, let me do this first. One. And then I can reveal up to three and take them. So this is a four. And my comic book is at value four. So I get two plus two fans. And there it is. So i am reached the end of the track. I flip this over. It's now ten fans plus six bucks. So I'm down here. So um, I have eleven fans and seven dollars for Love Letter. Okay. Michelle's final move. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? She's going to print. She can print one book. Does she have enough money? She does have barely enough. She just got enough money. $4 and two zombie tokens or horror tokens. She gets one, two, three fans uh, for Haunting Tales. Let's find that. Where's Haunting Tales? Okay, so three fans for Haunting Tales. Uh, she does get an additional fan because when you print it, you get that bonus there. So, Haunting Tales up there. And she unlocks another, her final um, act, free action, special action. Um, so this can go on anything with four. Ooh! She's going to go here. Why there? Glad you asked her. Well, uh, the reason why she did this is... Um, she gets an extra worker for the round. Cool. Okay, that's the end of the round. Let's do some cleanup, uh, establish a ranking. So I have taken the lead, folks. I'm here at 11, so I get three victory points this time. And Michelle gets two. Um, earn money. 
So four bucks, six, and this is 11. I get 17. 15, 17. And Michelle gets six. Uh, two of these is 12, 14. Okay. 14 bucks. Uh, established turn order. So this time I'm the highest. So Michelle will go first this round. Switch these out. <coughs> Remove one fan from each comic book. So this goes down to 10. This goes down here. This goes down here. Down here. Down and down. Remove editors from the board. There's that one. And discard the cards, refill the table. So new artists and new comics are coming into development, folks. Let's see what we got here. We got our new writer. A couple of three new writers, three new artists, and three new comics to develop. Okay. Now, let's start the next round. Uh, we are on age four. The Western genre is hot now, so we turn over all the Westerns. The boots. Okay. Um, refill the ideal tokens. We didn't take any of those already. So, add hype. So, hyped up. Um, my yellow is hyping this one here. So, people are getting excited about my horror book and my new romance book. And then now we can pay to increase the values. So I definitely, let me see what Michelle wants to do. Does she want to increase this? She probably does. Uh, she's here. Uh, well, she could get that. She could get the horror one, which is over here. Hmm. Or she's good. How about me? I can increase my love letter, uh, my romance one. So if I go down here, I'll be able to scoop up. So I'm going to do that. You can only do it once per um, round. So you can't like, it, um, if you do it incrementally, you can only do it one uh, step per round. So I couldn't spend a bunch of money, go from like a one to a three. So I'm just going to go one here. Um, so they are different. Um, they're not specialized. Um, add one, pay $1. I've got to pay $2 to get to the next level. So $2 here. And I gotta bump this one up to two. Uh, this is looking for the artist tokens. There it is. Okay. Cool. And I paid my money. Um, now I Michelle goes first. Okay. Um, what's Michelle gonna do? She has this one book here, but she needs more artist and writer. Okay. Oh. She forgot about this. She had uh, the haunting uh, tales. Did I give that to her already? I don't remember. She should have got an additional fan. <coughs> okay. So she has a, a sci-fi that she can do. Um, three and one is four. Uh, yeah. So let's see, she has sci-fi, can she move around to, ooh, you know what she can do first, friends? Michelle's going to hit the pavement and go sell. So she's going to move twice. So one for free, second one's going to cost her two bucks. Okay, some change. One, two, three, back. And then you can scoop up up to um, three of these. She's going to take the two remaining. Michelle has already printed a crime and a horror book. So she gets plus two to Haunting Tales. Two. And she gets another two fans for Gang Wars. One. And she's, wow, she's all the way up to 11 bucks there. Nice. Good one, Michelle. And now it's back to me. I am going to print two comic books. Yeah. Do I have enough? Let's see. One, two. Yes, I do. So, going to print two. First one is five bucks. Artists and writer in this correct spots. So five bucks for there. And I have to pay two horror ideas. Boom. I get one, two, three fans plus a ticket. So this allows me to go anywhere on the board. 
um, three fans, but I also hyped it up, so I get additional four fans, so that's seven fans total. Seven fans total for True Terror. Okay. And I had this earlier. Um, I was worried about, uh, I was hoping to get a book uh, published, and I did, so I get another three fans for that book. So this one, this is the hot book of the season. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now I want to print, oh, you know what? I can't print a second book because I don't have any artists and writers. I have this great book in development. I need an artist and writer. So I'm just, I only printed one, folks. Back to Michelle. Um, hmm. What does she want to do? Oh, by the way, Michelle printed the first horror book. She gets the mastery token there. Okay, so now on my turn, or Michelle's turn, uh, three, let me see, doom, doom, yep, back to Michelle. She needs to get an artist and writer so she can get the sci-fi book off the uh, presses here. Um, so she's going to go uh, higher. Going to get a writer, artist. Okay. Then I need to do the same thing because I'm stuck with this one. So I'm going to also hire. Okay. Shoot. Okay, pick this one and this one. Now Michelle's gonna go print. She wants to print that fourth book. Uh, writer, artist. Oh wait, she can't. Oh wait, no, yeah, she can't. She has enough money. I, I was mis misread something. Okay, so six bucks plus two sci-fi tokens, ideas. So she has printed uh, Stories of Tomorrow. She gets an additional fan, so four fans all together. Let's get that. Stories of Tomorrow. Four fans. Um, is that it? Yes. Four fans. Uh, she now has, she can, she's got five books. So this uh, part right here says she can take any one of her cubes and move them anywhere she wants. And she's going to get additional points at the end of the game there. Uh, let me make sure that's right. Um, royalties convert money into fans. Ooh. Let's her for the board. Oh, you know what? Michelle forgot. She had her extra um, work for this round because she went to sales. Um, she wants to do... She's going to move this ideal one over to... Um, hire. Because she'll have to hire next round. Okay. Uh, back to me. Hmm. I'm going to print. Print another book. I'm going to print this romance book. It's been hyped. So I've got to pay four bucks plus two romance tokens. Romance. Uh, four bucks. So making change. Ten. I get six back. Five, six. Uh, romance and then my bonus is a hey, another ticket and then I've got three fans plus this one four that's seven fans for heartbreakers folks heartbreaker uh, seven okay back to Michelle uh, she wants to she has this sci the sci-fi one she's here uh, she's gonna do some movement one here. She's going to reveal this. Again, you don't have to, but she wants to. What she gonna do, The reason why she went here, though, she has both of these fulfilled. She has a, a, a Western, which is value six, and that's more than five, so he gets three, five, uh, three fans to her Western Outlaws. One, two, three. And then she also has a value five. She just printed it, Stories of Tomorrow. He has another three fans. Uh, stories tomorrow. One, two, three. Cool. Nice one, Michelle. Oh, and she she could take this, but she has nothing in the romance section, unfortunately. So she's going to leave that there. Okay, me. I want to get it on that as well. Um, I can go here to get a romance, here to get a sci-fi. I don't have a sci-fi yet. Um, I could pay extra to move. Oh, no, wait. I've got, I've got to use these tickets. I can go anywhere I want. Yeah, of course. Oh no, I can't do that one. Can I do this? 
anywhere I want. Here? Probably go here because I got a Superman, I mean, a, a action and I've got a horror. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to move. Again, three spots for two players. I'm going to spend my ticket. I go anywhere on the board for free. I'm going to go here. I am going to get a fan for Star Spangled Duo. Okay. I'm also going to get this one here for my new book, True Terror. Um, it's five. So this is more than five. So I get one additional fan. Where's True Terror? There it is. I'm going to take this one as well. I cannot fulfill it yet. But if I can develop my artist to get to six, then I'll be able to get four extra fans. So I'm going to keep that there. If I don't do that by the end of the game, I lose those points. Okay, Michelle had her extra worker here, so she gets one extra action. Um, She is going to hire. Writer and artist. They're both newbies, so they... Oh, is that going to... Yeah, they're both newbies. They're going to get two uh, ideas, uh, superhero ideas. Here. And I get the uh, special action, which is uh, reassign. So I can pay the difference to reassign stuff. I don't think there's anything I need to reassign just yet. Okay, cool. End of the round, folks. All right, we got one more round going uh, to go. Thank you for getting, uh, joining me today. It's been a, I, mean, I love this game. So I'm going to establish rankings. So the rank is Michelle has the highest with Gang Wars. That has been the hot book all all year long. So she gets three victory points. I get two. two three. Uh, earn money. So for me, six, ten, eighteen, twenty bucks. And Michelle gets um, 4, 8, 11, uh, 13. This is 7, so also 20 bucks. Huh? Cool. 10, 20. Okay. Establish turn order. Michelle's the highest, so I will go first this final round. Remove one fan from each, so everyone's going to go down one. Remove editors on the board. Boom, boom, boom. And Michelle, she got her extra one. That goes back to the extra space. Cool. Oh, I was, I also could do that as well. I can move my stuff around. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm good. Yeah. Okay. And then we discard the tables or discard the cards and, Final round, let's see who our final writers and artists and comic books are. All right. And now we go to the next round, the fifth and final age, round of age. I'm finally gonna reveal the remaining romance. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, I will go first. Um, refill, these tokens are good. Add hype. Um, nope, nothing is being hyped because no books are in development. Um, and then pay money to increase value. This is what I'm going to do. I have these artists here. Three and two equals five. I have, I was trying to sell it earlier, but I can increase this. Uh, I can bump it up to uh, pay one dollar to bump it up to three. I get the little token for that writer. The writer has gained and it's skill. So now that pays off because now I can do this for an additional four fans to True Terror. Where's True Terror? So four fans. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. Cool. All right. Final turn, folks. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try to make some money. Do I try to print or do I try to get some fans? Okay. That's not going to be enough, unfortunately. I can go here, sci-fi. Okay, this is romance and sci-fi. Do I have, I, I don't have any sci-fi. Oh, no, I do, it's four. Okay, so I can go here. Um, do I try to print a final book? That's the, the question. I can do a superhero book. Um, one, two, hmm. 
Tell you what, I'm going to just try to scoop up some. I'm going to do some selling. I'm going to go here to sell. Uh, I'm going to use my ticket to go anywhere I want. So let's go. Let me see. Hearts. I got five there. I got four there. I can go here. I can scoop up. Oh, I can go here and scoop up these two. That would be nice. Uh, here does me no good. Here does me no good. Okay, we're going to go here. I'll take these two. I have a three for Heartbreakers. Because um, it's four, so I get one fan of Heartbreakers. And then I have a superhero, uh, which is at six. So Star Spangled Duo, that's been my hot book. Goes up four. Okay. Now, Michelle, I think she's going to try to sell as well. She wants to do some sales. So she can move and then take up to two. She is, oh, she's sort of stuck, though. She doesn't have much movement, friends. She can pay. Hmm. Um, let's see. Sales, extra editor. Let me check the rules real quick on something for the uh, movement. So I want Michelle to, I want, she wants to see if she can move further. Um, yeah. So $2. Okay, so she could pay more to go further. So it's basically free one block and then two bucks for a block after that. And you could also pay $2 to land on the spot of your opponent as well. Um, hmm. So Michelle really wants to get down here to get this, uh, to bump up her stories of tomorrow. And she also has, um, if she can get here, she has these two. That's a lot of fans. So one, two, three, four, five. She's gonna do it. One for free. Two bucks, four bucks, six bucks, eight bucks. Making change. She's gonna scoop up this one. So she has Outlaws uh, value six, so plus four fans for Outlaws. And she also has um, the Sci Fi Stories of Tomorrow value six, plus four fans. Stories of Tomorrow. Oh, ten. Cool. And then back to me. Ooh, um, I guess math. I convert three ideas into fans. Yeah, I, that's that's free money right there. I'm gonna go here to get some ideas. So we'll get ideas here. We'll get a boot, a western, a crime, and I get two more of my choice. I'll take two romance, and then with the special action, I can turn three of those ideas into a fan. Um, of one genre. Let me again work real quick though, just to make sure. So the uh, develop, or I mean the higher action. No, what was it? The ideas action. Special idea. You can convert a max of three idea tokens into fans. One per comic book already printed. One idea token equals one fan. Okay, so I can get three fans to three different books if I turn in one, two, three tokens. I'm going to do one, two, and three. That's cool. Okay, back to Michelle. Um, she can't go there. She can go here for another fan. Here for another fan. Is she going to... Wow, she, does she... No, she doesn't want to spend that much money. Um... Oh, by the way, she went here. She should have gotten her free worker. Okay. So maybe she can print one more. She does have... Okay. Yeah, she's going to... Let's see. She's going to pay four bucks to... Oh, she's going to develop first. Develop. She's going to pay four bucks to search the deck for um, the superhero. But there is no more of that. But we do have the discard. So the discards do finally come into play. I'm going to shuffle these up. Um... And then she's just going to search and she finds this superhero here. 
So she's gonna do that. So she will print that next properly. Okay, back to me. Um, I want to this six. I cannot. Oh no, I'm short one. This five I can go. So I'm gonna go. Do I? Oh, I don't have any more tickets, but I do have one, two, three. That was one, two, three. So the first one's free. Then I owe four bucks for the cab. And I'm gonna take this one here, five, because I have that. I'm gonna place it here for three more fans. Love letter, three fans, so one, two, three. Cool. And back to Michelle. She will print her final book. Uh, it's a superhero book. She pays two superhero tokens. <clears throat> She's got one, two, three fans. And additional two idea tokens. So two idea tokens. Three fans for Miss Tiger. Three fans for Miss Tiger. Okay. And back to me and my final action. Michelle has two because she gets the extra worker there. Um, I'm going to go. Hmm. Do I get money? Can I go? Let me see. Sci-fi. I don't have any. Oh, I do have a sci-fi. Yeah, let's move one over. Oh, no, I can't because this is uh, three spaces already taken. So, boo earns. Okay. Here, we'll take this one again. We'll take one plus two. So, one plus two. And then I'm going to spend three to bump up three of my books. So, one, two, three. Cool. All right. Um... Back to Michelle. She's got two final actions. She has a special. She had the extra worker. Um, she cannot do any much sales. I guess royalties. She can't print. She can't hire. She could hire, but nah. Ideas. She's gonna take two royalty actions for seven bucks. You will get some money at the end there. Okay, that's the end, folks. That's the end. We're gonna count up a uh, victory points now. Scoring system here. Fans at the end of round five, minus the fans of unfulfilled uh, orders. Okay, so round five, you don't lose any fans. We don't go through that uh, step. Okay, uh, and actually, let me verify that here. End of uh, game games, fans, count all fans. Uh, end of round five, comic books do not lose fans. Okay, so did we have any unfulfilled orders? No, we did not, so we're not going to subtract. Count all the fans accumulated on the chart, subtract the fans, convert the ratio, one fan equals one victory point. So, um, I'm going to get the handy dandy score pad here, folks, that is included in the game. So, this not player is not in, this player is not in, so I'm the left, Michelle's right. So, let's look at fans. I've got 8, 12, 15, 16, 17. Michelle has got 10, 20, oh my gosh, 20, 29, is that right? 29 plus 8 is 37, 37 plus 3 is 40, 41, wait, wait, you know what, I forgot about this, no, mine was wrong, so 41 for Michelle, I've got 8, 12, 13, these were, uh, this is a 10 plus 1, or 6, or 10 plus 1, is 11, okay, let me do it this way. 11, 12, 15, 19, point seven. Still, Michelle whooped me on the fans. Very popular. Okay, uh, victory point tokens. I've got three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Michelle, off camera, she has three, six, nine, eleven, fourteen. Money. Every four bucks is a point. So 10, 20, 2, 3, so 23, uh, every 4 is 6, 5 points for me. Michelle had 25, 6, 7, 9, 31, divided by 4 is 7. Uh, ideas, every 4 is a point, so I've got 5 ideas for a point. Michelle is all out of ideas, 0 point. Okay, now we're going to look at um, our comic uh, printed comics. So... You go over here. Um, oh, I forgot max free tokens. So I had, uh, did we change? We did not cha exchange. No, wait, we did. Michelle ended up getting another superhero, so she gets that genre. 
and she had all the other genres as well. I had, okay, so I had four points. So that's 15 here. And she had another eight points, so that's 22 here. Oh my gosh, Michelle running away with things. But now we look at our comic books. So if you have comics that are totally specialized, so the writer and artist and, uh, match the genre, then you'll get six points. If it's just one of them that match, four points. If it's none, then two points. So Michelle has six, 12, um, six, 12, 18. These don't match, these match. So 21 matching. No, wait, wait. One, two, three, four. So that's 24. And then these here, she has one match one match so that is four points okay and then zero there so that's four six books then my books i've got one full match two full matches so that is 12 and then the ones i have a one two and oh okay so i have two here for four and then i have one that didn't match for two and that's how you score folks that is it um let's let's count it up I've got, uh, let's see, 12, 42, 47, 48, uh, 48 plus 24 is 48 plus 24 is 72, 76 total. Michelle's got, oh boy, 63, 70, 82, 86, 88 for the win. All right. Wow. What a game, folks. The comic book publisher's war of whatever year it was. Michelle comes out ahead, 8876. Uh, she had her full comic book line out. Uh, well done. Um, she concentrated. She, I mean, she got them all out. She actually took the mastery token because she was, uh, uh, took over the superhero um, uh, genre. She also had uh, the crime and so forth. And wow, what a game. I want to thank all of you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. This is now on Kickstarter. It's fully funded. I'll drop the link one more time in chat. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out the links in the show notes below. Um, so that's it. Thanks again for watching. And now for our Twitch viewers, thank you, friends, for hanging out with me today. I know it's a lo little long longer stream. And I wasn't you know, too interactive with uh, chat, but I'm going to go back now. We're going to go back a little bit and say hello to everyone. I mean, I hope you got a good sense of the uh, game. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer them the best I can. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward uh, work replacement, but here's the thing. They just announced number one, solo mode. Number two, there's an expansion already that I believe will wrap up the difficulty if you're looking for that. Uh, Giggles, hello. Uh, Dino Corey, hey, Dino Dino, Dino Corey. Appreciate you, Slivers is here. Geeky Chappie, thank you for hanging out. I saw To Live In Nice in LA earlier. Thank you, friend. Good to see you. James is here. Legends as well. Um, any other questions? Let's see. Um, do we have any questions here? Deadpan, Twinfire. Hi, friends. Hey, Foxy. Foxy, I love the theme as well. This is so, oh, so good. And I love just how it, everything just, to me, everything makes sense. You have to hire artists. You have to hire writers. You have to pay them. You have to have the ideas. You have to develop comics. You can hype them up. You have to go around the city to sell them. You have to print them. I mean, just, oh, everything just flows so well. I'm very, very impressed with this. Again, take it with grain of salt. This is a, a paid preview, but I, I dig it. I was, uh, again, I had, they had reached out to me. Uh, Larry Skims had reached out to me. I was all in just based on the theme. And then thankfully the game totally was up for the hype. Foglight, Dutch Yoda, thank you. Again, thank you for all the raids, uh, Soul Raids, uh, Master Goblin Games. Uh, Quaid Rain. Hey, Quaid Rain. Uh, Quality Beast as well. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you. Sopping your razor as well. Always a wonderful person here in chat. Uh, Defez. Uh, Bonds played well and beat me fair. Okay, Defez. Nice. Uh, Gator Dave. Hey, Gator, Gator Dave. Yeah, the upgrade for the helmet will be a much easier. Uh, Bonds train for World Series of Board Games. Oh, cool. That's right. Bonds. Are I'll, I will be at the World Series Board Games as well, friends. Sweet. Well, thank you for, for the sub, folks. Thank you all for the subs. I've been working on the sub goal. I think we might have hit it. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Did I hit the sub goal? My subs have been low because I haven't been streaming much, but it looks like uh, we are closing in on 50 subs. So I used to be at 100. I would like to get back up there. Thanks to your help and thanks to your support. We're getting closer. So, so thank you, friends. 
Um, let's see. Board Game Bree was here. Thank you, Board Game Bree. I, I saw you in chat. I was just so zoned in on the game. Uh, Radar Cornflakes was here. Appreciate you. Good to see y'all. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I am tired. Um, I am. It's tough to do it here in this uh, temporary studio. I don't have my chair. I should. I really should bring my chair here. Um, and then the space a lot smaller. But hopefully, you got a good, um, good look at the game. So. That is Age of Comics, folks. Let's give away the the the, um, the giveaway now. Uh, one more time, this is a giveaway for. Let me print. I'm gonna press the little button here. Put in chat. This is for residents in these countries. Lyrics is game. They're gonna give you your choice of comic book covers, whatever you want it from the 24 in the game. And I think they announced the expansion has a few more covers. But this is for the 24 original uh, comics in the uh, covers in the game. You're going to get a 16 by 20 color, full color poster of one of these. So your choice. Contest open to continental US, Canada, Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, Belgium, UK, Ireland, Germany, and the Netherlands. So how do you win? Glad you asked you well. I want y'all to enter the word comics, C-O-M-I-C-S, into the chat. You'll be entered the win. Uh, your very own um, co uh, your very own poster uh, from Age of Comics. Uh, so let me get this ready here. Giveaways, comics, C-O-M-I-C-S. I'm going to reset eligibility. Good luck, everybody. The word is comics. And mods, you are um, eligible for this uh, giveaway as well. Give you all a few minutes. Any thoughts on the game? Let me know. Uh, I, I really enjoy this. I am so hyped about it. And uh, good luck, everybody. I'm going to take a sip of water. I needed this shirt today. I needed to be pumped for this. This is a, this is a good one, folks. And um, good luck to y'all. I see comics up for you behind you. Winter. <laughs> Love that. Uh, first time chatters, always welcome. Thank you, friends. Geeky Chappie, that uh, game is really cool. I, I'm hyped about it. I, I really, I, it's already, it's funded twice already. You know, why don't I check the link right now? Let's see where Age of Comics is, how they're doing. Let me get the keyboard. Keyboard's in the lap today, folks. They set an initial goal for twenty thousand dollars. They're at forty six. Uh, yeah, doubled it. Very nice. Super happy with them. Congrats again. And let's give away the game. Is everyone entered to win? Or is everyone typed in comics? Looks like we got a few people. We got. I'm gonna give you all another minute or two. Good luck, everybody. Comics. You can uh, win the. Uh, poster. I, I think it's really, I mean, they did all the original artwork. It's amazing, folks. I love worker placement as well. Totally nice and lay. Yeah, I, I can I can never have enough worker placement. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run the contest. Good luck, everybody. Uh, the keyword is comics. Your winner is Skelton. Hey, Z Kelton. Congrats, friend. You have won your very own uh, poster from Age of Comics. Congrats. What I need you to do is send me a whisper here on Twitch uh, with your name, address, and email for shipping confirmation. I will send that over to Lyrious Games and then they'll send you a poster. Congrats. Well done. And uh, yeah, just whisper me for the, with the info. Okay, friends. I need to get out of here. And by that means, I need to share the love. We're going to go raid another channel. Uh, let's find, let's see, who can who can we raid now? Boo -doo 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 -doo. Who is raiding or who is streaming right now? Um, A&M Games, Game School, they're fun. Let's, uh, we haven't raided, I don't think we've raided them yet. So I would like to raid A&M Game School. And I want to thank you all again. I appreciate you uh, hanging out with me today, uh, checking out this great game that's now on Kickstarter. I love the theme and, um, you know, I was so geeked out over this and I'm still geeked out over it. And so I appreciate y'all. I'm going to start the raid right now and then we will get going. Uh, any final questions? Thank, uh, yeah, Gelton, uh, send me your info. Thanks twin flower. Appreciate it. Jason. I see you and, uh, going to get going. Let's go show some love to a and game school. 
Much love to you all. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back uh, tomorrow with another great game. We're going to play some Nasi, a Coyote and Crow dice game. So same time, same channel. We're going to do a giveaway for that game as well. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care and uh, much love to you all. All right. Uh, what do I press? I, do I press this thing? I don't know what to press. Uh, see you all later. Bye.